Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom. Apologies for the time away. Uh, I had plenty of episodes set up for when I was uh, away in the Peak District, which I'm still going to go on about, but I didn't have any left over for when I was just not available to record, so there's been a bit of a gap. I've been sorting out the house, it's nice and clean, except for up here where it's completely full of boxes. I'm sure you have the same problem in your own house because nobody in the 21st century has time to tidy up. So what were we doing? We came down here. I seem to remember that a while ago. Okay, look, okay, no, I'm not going to cheat. Um, we came through under here and I jumped down here not wanting to because I remember there was things up there that I wanted to do. Now I can't get back. So um, I think we're just going to press on. None of these teleporters or anything seem to mm, help us out to where we want to go unless this will take us upwards, which I sorely doubt somehow. Uh, is it going, or do I have to... Ooh, heck. It is going up. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe you 100%. Um, thanks to 42% health for pointing out that this is BFG ammo, and this is armor, as we already knew. And here is a Barrel full of munitions, none of which I particularly needed. Um, he was hoping that I was going to fight the Cyber Demon in the previous episode. I didn't. I am hoping that I'm about to fight it right now. Can we go through? Yes. Make it so. That's, um, I'm glad that my initial marine training told me, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hello. Hey, bro. Uh, I need to... Guessing this is it. Dramatic camera angles and all. Uh, it's not quite as overpowering as it looked like in Doom 3, but that's okay. I guess we just shoot the shit out of it. Let's have a. This might take a couple of goes simply because uh, this is bullshit, so whatever. Um, we're gonna wanna know. Where did I put my BFG? There it is. We're gonna wanna know its patterns. Oh shit. And we're going to want to know if there's any sort of power-ups around here that we can make good use of. Um, I'm wondering if maybe my... Uh, well, I'm not quite sure right now. Oh, BFG ammo, perfect. Is that respawning? Please, please say that's respawning. As with the traditional Cyber Demon, it has plenty of rockets and is completely cap capable of hitting me with any of them. That was a sneaky attack. So somehow I have to get, I guess I have to knock this thing down. I do have a um I don't I don't like that. I do have a, a health bar at the bottom at the top which I've only just noticed. I was gonna say the bottom but um I promise you I know my bottom from my top. I want this. Yes. Nice. That did a lot of damage to it actually. That's actually really effective. I'm guessing that I'm gonna have to shoot it down. And then pull the thing out the back of it, like Samuel said. I'm very glad that I actually upgraded this in the way that I did, because I can take aim and fire before this thing has really done any... really become a threat, I suppose. That hurts. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. Wondering if perhaps on the other side of that door, the... Um, Look, I'm not appreciative of this particular... Oh, you bastard. Yeah. Going to be a couple of goes on that, I expect. Um, the other side of that door, there was a health thingy. So I'm wondering maybe I should have saved up for on the way out. I'm not sure if I'm going to be going back out through that door or straight into hell, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. <laughs> I guess I have no choice. I'm quite glad also, in fact, that I um, kept hold of the, uh, not kept hold of, but per chase, the one where I can move at full speed while zooming in on this. Because you get a little bit of extra push, a little bit of extra damage for doing the zoom in here, but being able to reliably avoid these. Sure, let's see how much. I don't take too much off of it, unfortunately. Um, reliably being able to avoid all of those um, rockets when it was very relevant to do so, it was helpful at the same time. Obviously, we could have just chosen between. Damn it. He's really good at tracking me on that one. I think that's a pattern that I'm going to have to learn. 
I assume we're going to have to fight a second cyber demon at some point because um, that it, there is a tell on when it's about to fire, and it fires a split second after it's actually stopped tracking me. So there is a there's opportunity to avoid that. Probably shouldn't be standing here like this. Although he still failed to shoot me, so kind of okay with it to be honest. I did actually dodge that. I'm surprised. This is such a good weapon against this cyber demon right now. Ooh. Probably, uh. Probably should have learned. I'm not. Okay. The first time that hit me, it took about 50% off. 50 percentage points off. Maybe. Uh, I've clicked away. Help. It's okay. It's okay. We're back. Um, second time, it took 112 percentage points off me at least, which was uh, all of them. So. I'm trying to watch the um, the health bar at the top to see whether my careful here um, zooming in is actually having much of an effect. It does seem to be a reasonably effective attack, but I think the Gauss cannon is far and away the most impressive damage dealer we have against this Joker. I mean, I guess we have the the BFG as well, so we want to not be on the ground when that happens. Uh, not what I meant to do. Please switch that back. I want to press T. How much damage does this do? Not much less... No, not much more, I should say, than the uh, Gauss Cannon. However, it does not like it. Which I am pleased with. It seems to cause it to stumble. So if we can do that and then get a few good shots off on this. Yes, that's what we like to do. Right, I'm happy with that. Do it again. Didn't get a direct shot, unfortunately, in that situation. Obviously, the direct shot is what is makes it unhappy with me. Careful. One more shot. It's done. Back of the net. Quick, take that. Yes. Thank you for being in the exact right position to um, for me to climb up you. It's a good way of dying. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a two rounds, um, two round fight, but. Thank you for not making that a two-round fight. Yeah, we're straight back into hell. That was interesting uh, teleport, wasn't it? Oh, it is a two-round fight. But in a good way. I'm happy with this two-round fight. I thought it was just going to keep going, even though I ripped the crap out of it, sir. So... Oh, shit. What are we doing here? Why have I got this open? Look, we know what we're doing. Ow. Yeah, use a pistol. That's what I want. Help. So we stumble it with this, and we get the Gauss Cannon out, and we do as much damage as we can. Starting to wonder if... Jump! Maybe we can uh, get some of this HP. No. Oh, I tried to jump it, but it didn't happen. It's like Nightmare, where you had to dodge the saws coming up. Okay. Doesn't have currently... Um, leaving myself open for future proofing here, but this these videos don't currently have the, the widest audience, so I'm guessing that at least some of the people who watch it will not have heard of uh, Nightmare in the sense that I mean it, which is a kids' TV program from the 90s, I guess. That was a shot. Um, on BBC. Stop changing this. I need to get a better button. Did I change the button that I used for... Um, BFG. I think I might have done. Also, stumbling it when I'm stuck. Yeah, I have to stop <sighs> dodging. Uh, <laughs> okay. Play smarter than you are. I'm pretty sure it was on the BBC. It might have been on CITV, actually. But anyway, American audiences will not be favourable to my cultural references for British audiences. So in case you were wondering... Show a children's show that involved uh, one kid was put in basically a green screen, a room with uh, a mask on. On the premise that he was a knight working his way through a dungeon in the nightmare. How did I dodge any of that? Please let me know if you've got an answer. Let me know in the comments. Um, 
but one of the cha oh thank you one of the challenges was that he had to dodge the uh, fudge there were saws in the wall coming out of the wall it was all computer generated which was kind of cool for the time but these days it looks lame as all heck um, oh yeah maybe this will help seems kind of immune to that which is not surprising any more of this yes Please, nearly there. Go over here. Um, yeah, it's not surprising that something that was computer generated in the 80s or 90s was going to look crap by now, but. Get me out. Can we get out? We can't get out. How did I get out before? Maybe it was an accident. Maybe I got blown out. Oh, Christ. By the. Uh... Get in there. Yeah, it was computer generated. The scenery, it was all green screen, basically, and the kid was blind because he had a mask on, and the other kids had to tell him what to do. He could hear them. I don't, I don't really know how it worked backstage, but basically you were um, a team of kids who all knew each other from school, In as far as I knew, in essence. Where are we going? Uh, I had to guide the kid who couldn't see what he was doing through doors... Um, through hallways, pick things up, that sort of thing. And each room was different. It was mostly computer generated, as I noticed. Play a game of Demon Destruction. So obviously I missed that. <sighs> I'm probably going to want to do that one again, unfortunately, because I knew there were a lot of things that I hadn't done, and I was down underneath and I fell off and I didn't, couldn't get back, which is a shame. But there was a room, which was a conveyor belt, which dragged you along a very thin corridor. In the walls, there were horizontal circular saws and the kids in the the main room of the the game had to tell the kid who was the knight to step sideways dodge uh you know duck that sort of thing in order to not get hit by the saws which is very very similar to reclaim the crucible does that mean take back this place which is called the crucible or does that mean find a thing that is a crucible and pick it up we'll find out uh very similar to that wave attack where you had to basically guess whether it was going to be above you or below you uh, and hope for the best. It's a very difficult game. Lots of children failed. It's obviously these prophecies are talking about me. Not prophecies, they're stories. They're talking about me, the not not the human playing the game, but the character this human is controlling. Um, seems like Geronimo. Seems like this character who can fall an infinite distance. Apparently, I would very much like to be using a different gun. Thank you. Uh, excuse me while I don't finish my thought because I can't think at all right now. Um, seems like this character is this... Uh, well, I don't want to say person, just uh, a, a being who is vaguely human shaped. Can't reach that. That's fine. Kill it. Um, who has been cleansing hell, who's been going through hell, literally undoing the swarms of hellspawn that live down there uh, apparently able to draw strength from his enemies which is probably related to the way when we kill things hard enough things fall out usually hp i'm interested in the shape of this sort of thing we've we got a decent map down here we have got a vague map it's not very it's not very faithful to the thing i've got full health as well I don't know where that came from lucky me i guess uh, and I've been dormant for some reason. And now all of a sudden I'm here. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Uh, 
Um, now that this foolish branch of... Did you just... Did I just burn... I'm sorry. Okay. That was cool. I managed to burn the feet off of the Cacodemon with a rocket explosion. Is it more powerful? I think it is more powerful to catch them in your detonation. What was that? That was poor. Uh, then it is to just straight up hit them with a the rocket. Um, I have been dormant in hell for some reason. For some time. And now here I am back because this foolish race of humans has opened the hell mouth and you know, doom themselves to all eternity of... Don't like this. Get out of here. And so I've been awoken in order to assist, I suppose. I mean, they're basically pinkies, but easier to kill. Especially once they're um, frozen like this. Just die! I'm not into this. There we go. Wonder if Chainsaw versus... Uh, not whatever this is about to be. Okay, there is nothing. Uh, versus Screaming Skull is viable. I would like this HP, please. Plus three. Are you joking? That's an insanely small amount of HP. So now here I am back to let you know I can really shake it down. What have I found? Please be a secret. Ow. So I'm drawing strength from my enemies, which is presumably alluding to the fact that I uh, collect HP from them when they die and things like that. Um, secret? Not secret! <laughs> Bad secret. Oh, that was good. Uh, shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Yes. Oh, heck. Super shotgun. Die. Good. That is a, an example there of me drawing strength from my enemies. You need to stop being such a pest, mate. Good, 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 good. Kill it in all ways. Yeah, I'd like to see if I can chainsaw those things. Maybe I was supposed to find that because I can't get through here. That's just a beating heart on a pedestal. I mean, you know, put me on a pedestal if, by all means. James's theory that you are the same marine that came from previous Doom game and have been running through hell all this time still does not actually have anything against it, which is interesting, because he didn't think that he was right. But doesn't seem completely wrong. I mean, there's nothing there's nothing contrary to, to suggest that that is not the case. I'm interested, by the way, which is why I'm running back and forwards, where the end of this is, because I would like that thing. I mean, we could just have a look, right? So somehow we can get through there, which is why I fired at that wall. On the principle that this is a Doom game, so if you shoot at a wall, it opens, but it has not obliged me thus far. Just press E. No. Explode it. Nah. But it's definitely the right place, so... Maybe it opens some other way, or maybe there's a... Well... Either I'm doing it right, or I'm not. <laughs> it's, I, I feel like if I've tried a few goes at that, then there's another way of doing it. That looks like haste. Sorry for the spinny camera, by the way. I hope it's not making anybody particularly seasick. Uh, if it is, just look away and listen to the dulcet tones of my lovely voice, lulling you ever gently to sleep to the... to the sounds of... Oh, heck. Yeah, let's not be here. This is going to be fun. So to be you, bro. Let's use this. And then we will do this first. There we go. Missed. Not good. Die. Die though. There we go. So the enemy that dies when stunned should cause damage, possibly stunned to other things. I seem to remember that I had that. It has been a few days since I played this at all, obviously. So I'm still in the process of remembering. Was that a monster closet, by the way? Uh, I'm still in the process of remembering what it was I was doing last time. And we've still got combat music, which alarms me to some extent, because... Well, I want combat music, because it means I'm in combat. Uh, let's push this, then. Please tell me that opens this thing. 
no. Something's happening though. Oh, hello. Um, might keep this. Incubus, might keep this. So uh, interesting when I first learned that a succubus is the equivalent of an incubus. An incubus is the male equivalent of a succ succubus. What hit me? There's nothing there. That's not funny. Yeah, an incubus tempts women and presumably gay men, and uh, a, a, man a mancubus tempts all of us by its, you know, corpulent sexual prowess. Kill this like this. Let's get our super shotgun out. Okay, there's lots of explosions happening, and I don't think any of them were me. What are you doing here? Thought I killed you yesterday. Let's gas something. You are not helping. FYI. Fuck off! Where did that, uh... Everything go. Plasma rifle. Stun. Kill. Most of those missed, which is... Somewhat to my chagrin, I'm afraid. What am I doing with this? No! Bad. Not even pretending that I can do this in any sensible way other than shoot it till it dies. By the way, thanks to 42% health for approving of my American way of doing this, which is to shoot things until they be dead. Um, but also for the game for recognizing that I'm doing this the American way by giving me... Oh, come on. That's just rude. Giving me the um, achievement for shooting it till it dies when I beat the, the, the cyber demon. So, yeah, very grateful. I feel like having my efforts and understanding rewarded is the important thing. So it's an intellectual epi episode. It's an intellectual exercise. We, you know, we want to uh, we want to learn that what we believe to be true is true. We want to have our theories validated. I guess is what I'm saying. Oh, this is open now. Grand. Come on, Ian. Right. Well, I guess I don't really want any of this. Stun bomb. Got that. Heat blast. <clears throat> I guess we could try that. The stun bomb is pretty cool, though. What's the other one for this? Lock on burst. Maybe we should actually consider using that. Remote detonation is not that useful most of the time. Not least because it's quite difficult to figure out in a three-dimensional environment projecting onto a two-dimensional plane known as my monitor quite how far away the rockets are in order to know when to explode them in the first place. Micro-missiles could be cool. Let's try micro-missiles. We might as well. Having this full set of upgrades is not going to be the worst thing in the world. Um, let's read about this. Multi-chambers, cylindrical, H6 missiles. So we presumably just press the right mouse button and fire them. Let us change our plasma rifle to... That's not what I changed. I wanted the rocket launcher to be changed to... Heat seeking missiles. Also, how did I... Yes, yeah, so that is... Siphon grenade. I think that's the one I like the idea of, but didn't get around to using. Let's try it. I want to make sure we're using these things properly. Hello? Right, let's... Uh... Chuck this over there, there we go. And then we also want to try this. Great. Yes, please. Did my siphon grenade do anything? Nice! I kind of feel like this uh, is better with Oh, opportunity knocks, opportunity pass. Never mind. No worries, my dudes. Um, ah, hello. You are not invited. Run away. Um, what am I saying? Oh, I've lost track. I missed the haste. Is that okay? I think that's okay. This is going to be great in deathmatch. Let's just try it. You've got them too. Cool stuff, bro. Let's be friends. 
And lol. Grand. Uh, you die. Oh, I don't like the fact that you've got... Low ammo and low health. That doesn't bode well. Let's, um... Let's just do this for a while. Out of ammo? You cannot be out of ammo. It's not even funny. Nice. I think playing this a few times on single player is actually going to gear you up quite well for the... No, don't. Ah! Didn't expect that. For the multiplayer experience, which I assume there is one of. Of which I assume there is. But we ain't all got time for your grammars. Kill. Nice. Kill. Balls. Get out of here. Right, kill this then. That's what we'd like to see. Oh, you... No! Oh, come on. Alright, I think we're going to have to try this in the next episode. It's been a nice bit of an extra episode for starting out with. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I am quite bad at this game. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I mean, I am playing it on the second hardest difficulty that actually lets you save it. So, cut me some slack. But, yeah, thanks for watching the episode. Hope you uh, are happy with the uh, comeback. I'm going to try and finish the rest of the game without actually putting another break in this series. And then we're going to concentrate on our Life is Strange series, which I did promise recently. And it has come out recently. But we've only done one episode so far. So... Apologies for that. We're going to start recording that a little bit more uh, more focusedly soon, but same thing, both of these series, all recording has been on hiatus, so look out for that in the near future, and uh, I hope you will join us for that, and I hope you will join me for the next one of these, but until then, for me it's going to be two minutes, for you it's going to be a couple of days, so I hope you'll join me soon. Thanks for watching.